Look at that sun. I can't see you guys at all right now. It's bass opener here in Ontario. Bass opener for zones 17, 18, and 24 largemouth bass. Um, so Aaron and I are out here. We're waiting for our buddy uh, Tyler. We're fishing a little lake today. I'm so excited. We have jigs tied on, jigs tied on, and jigs tied on. So all of the fishing for multi-species was really fun this spring. Um, you know, I love targeting lake trout. Bowfin was a lot of fun. What else did we do? We did a crappie. We did a crappie. Walleye. Walleye. Walleye was fun too. But bass is where my heart's at. Are you excited for bass opener? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited. We got we got Tyler's boat with Kels. We got Tyler. <laughs> Not Tyler. Aaron's coming here. I thought I was Tyler. <laughs> I don't know how we got these boats in here. You guys can see that. It's like, yeah, no, I definitely sucked up some sand. That's a pike. No. Why? <laughs> you broke me off. No. It's 25 pound leader too. I was excited about that jig. That sucks. <laughs> good. Please don't be a pike. <laughs> no! Oh, it's a bass. Yes. <laughs> That's not that big. <laughs> Sweet! Go, first first one! Let's see that. Yapper. You got him under control? I think I got him under control. He was way off, eh? We're sitting in like 15 feet of water here. He bit between me and the shore, so he's probably sitting in, what, 10? So they're still off. Nice two and a half pounder. Nice little fish to start the day. Yes, you can go. <laughs> nice black flipping jig for the win, always. Let's see if we can get a couple bigger. <sighs> yeah! Probably set the hook in time, yeah. There you go. That's a better fish. <laughs> I barely felt him. <laughs> Holy! Holy! It's a little better. A little better? A little bit better. Got a face full of jig. Face full of jig, dude. Best kind of face full. <sighs> nice. Good fit. He's chunky, eh? Yeah. Nice. I didn't even set the hook in time because I felt him on the when I was jigging it. There you go. They're stocky in here, eh? He's short, but he's got a little bit of a belly to him. Thank you, sir. Again, on that jig, there's nothing else I would rather be doing on opener than fishing a jig. So they aren't quite in the pads yet. We're getting them kind of like on that transition. Um, I think as it warms up, they kind of move in a little bit more, but. Yeah, they're all kind of they're all kind of short and stocky so far. Uh, hopefully, we can find like a like a twenty three inch short and stocky one. It'll be like seven pounds. Um, but yeah, all on the jig. I just love fishing the jig. It's so fun. That's interesting feeling. Yeah. Oh, he came off. Ah. <laughs> he wrapped me around the pads. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I was like, does it feel like grass? <laughs> he fell the ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, he wrapped me around those pads. Yes, please push him. This would be a lot more fun if he pushed into the pads. <laughs> he might eat again, eh? Just cast towards the second piling. Yeah. yeah. I, s 
I saw him, uh, I hooked him, I brought him out though, so he might be out. Alright, let's get Aaron a jig here so he can try to keep up. So, these jigs are new. Uh, Freedom Tackle just came out with a flipping jig, uh, a structure jig, a swim jig, and a football jig. So, uh, we got some structures as you guys can see. I really like the skirts on them too, they're not too full. Um, which is great because uh, sometimes some jig makers have a lot of skirt going on and it's just way too much. Structure jig, I just showed you guys, it's a nice like flatter head to it. Flipping jig, which is what I'm using right here. More of like a narrow head so it goes through cover a little bit better. And swim jig, right there. So what do you want? Structure. Structure? Half ounce or three quarter? Uh, oh, you just have a look. <sighs> It's a weird color. Aaron likes his weird colors, and he always outfishes me on his like, on his out of the ordinary colors. I guess. Look at that. Nice stout hook on there. I believe they're owners. Got rattles. We have the weight on the bottom of each head as well, so it's great for organization. And that's the structure head there. So nice, dude. <laughs> no, we just need a trailer. We just need a trailer for it. <laughs> that looks so good. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Oh shit. No! That was a good fish, dude. No! That was at least a four pounder. <laughs> In the pads, he shook you, eh? All right, well, we'll do a loop around. The thing about this lake, guys, is it's pretty, it's pretty small. So uh, you're pretty much fishing the same stuff all day. So maybe we'll give this a break for a little bit and come back. He'd probably still be up here. What on earth? One sec. No way. <laughs> You're fixing your backlash. No way. Ready? I see him. Oh yeah. It's Let's the biggest on. one of the day. Nice, dude. Probably three over three pounds. I'd say so. Want to win? No, that's fine. Okay. There you go. Nice one, Aaron. Back in. Back in. On the jig. <laughs> that's way too funny. You're fixing your backlash. Yeah, I was trying to get that knot out of my line. And, and he came and scooped it. Scooped it. Nice, that looks really good. That's the biggest one, probably. Yeah. Not the same size as the one you lost. No, the one I lost. <laughs> <laughs> but, heck yeah. Aaron with a solid, probably three. Yeah. Three, maybe just over three pounder. So, biggest one of the day. You guys see how stocky they are, eh? Really, really short fish, but they have a lot of uh, beef cake to them. So, slowly picking up. We already fished the whole lake, so now we're just kind of chilling a little bit. Uh, kind of fishing the same stuff again, just to see if some fish, maybe some new fish may have moved up. But, still on the jig, which is awesome. Like, the whole sp whole spring, pretty much. You, we both in fish with jigs, but all spring you're just waiting to to be able to flip a jig and get on a jig bite, so it feels absolutely amazing. Uh, but Aaron's still getting a knot on his line. Maybe he'll catch another one. That'd be really funny. Uh, but yeah, let's see if there's anyone out here. Oh, he has me rocked. He has me rocked. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. He's stocky. They're all so stocky, eh? Oh, Holy! Gosh, so stocky, dude! Look how stocky these fish the are! I think so. So stocky. 
Dude, he munched it. He ran with it. He got me wrapped around so many pads. Beautiful. One of the bigger ones of the day, probably. They're so stocky in here. It's great. There you go, bud. Thank you. Oh, heck yeah, guys. Feels great to be back out here. All right, guys. We're heading on over to lake number two of the day. So... Ooh, we just ate some ice cream and that's a wrap for our day. Uh, the only fish we saw in this lake was actually a dead one. <laughs> so uh, yeah, zero, we zeroed on this lake. Um, really don't like this lake, but it was fun to get around, um, drive around at least, and kind of get a deal for the boat. But we are going to go take the boats out of the water now and head on home. But I want to leave links to everything I used down below in the description, including the jig and the trailer. Uh, you guys can go have a look at that. So far, I really like those jigs. Um, a lot of jig companies out there with very similar products. I do like the fact that these jigs have the weight on the head. You can usually tell the difference, but um, it's just a nice additive that they thought of that I really like. And of course, the skirts I like a lot, I like the colors a lot. So yeah, overall, thumbs up for me. I'm definitely gonna be fishing them throughout the rest of the season. And uh, yeah, we're going to head on out. Thank you guys for watching. Bass season is upon us, so stay tuned for more bass fishing content. I'll see you guys in the next one.